You know, one of the biggest questions that people ask me is how do you get closer to the Heavenly Father? What's the process? What's the steps in growing your relationship with the Heavenly Father? And the reason why a lot of people ask that question is because they might not fully understand what they're seeking. Because it's a lot of people that read the Bible, they study the word day in and day out, but never truly feel close to the Heavenly Father because they are hoping to find answers in the scripture. And the answers are there, but see, the relationship might not be there because we can read a lot of stuff in this world that we never truly feel connected to because we never had a true passion for it, maybe. But see, a relationship is deeper than just reading. You get what I'm saying? It's about your actions. It's about what are you seeking? See, you're seeking wisdom. You're seeking understanding from the Heavenly Father. But are you seeking a relationship with the Heavenly Father by accepting Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior? And when I say relationship, I mean, what are you willing to let go? And what are you willing to endure for the Heavenly Father to better understand Him and gain a better relationship with the Heavenly Father? Because the world is tangible, but it's not forever. The word of God is forever. And he tells you the things in the scripture, the things that you should let go. And he also tells you what happens when you endure until the end, when you have faith and endure until the end. For those who believe shall receive a great reward. And for those who believe in Lord Jesus shall not perish, but receive everlasting life. You know, he say in the scripture, Lord Jesus said, he is the vine. And those who are connected to the vine as branches, the branch that don't bear fruit get cast into the fire. It's, it's cut off, men gather them up, cast into the fire. But the one that bears fruit, it say the heavenly father purge it so it can bear more fruit. See, we got to get to a point where we're willing to let certain things go that's of this world. That's why I asked that question, what are you seeking? See, when you begin a journey, one of the number one things you must know is what are you seeking on this journey? What are you hoping to find on this journey? Is it success? Is it tangible things that the world has to offer? Or is it life itself? Just a better understanding of life. See, when you start a weight loss journey, you're seeking to become healthy. When you're trying to start a business, you're seeking more knowledge to better understand how to become successful in starting this business. See, when you're seeking certain things that's in this world, you gotta understand that the reason why it's hard to understand it's because it's all tangible. It's something that's going to wither away. But when you actually seek after the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit of God, by accepting Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, the number one thing the Heavenly Father wants you to do is seek after His righteousness. Because the first blessing that the Heavenly Father wants you to have is everlasting life. That's why He says, store your treasure in heaven. Because that's where you're going to spend eternity when you truly accept Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior. So you gotta ask yourself, what are you seeking? I pray as Lord Jesus, and I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.